on in my lovelies again. All right, I thought I would come back. I'm going to now redo that book because do you remember we, I made this one, which has got the now inside pages which were cut down on the perforated edge and the outside ones that weren't. I thought so we've got sort of shorter pages on the inside which I like and I'm going to use this uh, um, as a spell book and I always generally make two anyway because I always find that I have loads of excess left over when I'm making memory books I don't know if you're all the same but I definitely do seem to get a lot of excess you know so I always do two because then I put the excess stuff that I've cut out not used into the other book so I thought I'd come back and I wanted to show you how to make this. This was the idea. I'm going to see if this is going to work because I did have a thought, you know, using these layered frames and I've gone for complete black because remember this is going to be a sort of spooky spell book, you know, like a family album. Oh, and I actually managed to get the family tree as well. I went ahead and I purchased it <laughs> because I thought I have to do this family tree sort of haunted family tree book so I've gone for complete black now I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this in in the book that I'm making because what I'm doing for the book that I'm making is I'm just going to be using this outer edge frame and I'm going to be building I'm going to be building that one up so I'm going to cut this six times and make a really heavy frame with it so if you watched my first tutorial on how to make a spell book and we used the wooden frames didn't we well this way you can make the frames yourself if you know if you don't want to spend any more money or you can't get the wooden frames then we can build these up and we if we cut them it's a lot of cutting and it's quite a lot of paper as well you use which is why I'm, I'm doing two books because you'll find because you're cutting lots of these out because you need these frames to build them up you're going to have lots of leftover surplus sort of excess <laughs> card so yes I I'll be doing that but I wanted to sort of show you do you remember I said that you can make them yourself with these and they look really really beautiful so once we've put this book together I see how long it takes us because I want to really go through it um I'll show you how to put this one together because I just think it looks so nice. Now I haven't really, I've just roughed out these the side bits, but can you see it just, it's really Halloween-y how it just looks so um, authentic, doesn't it? Really old looking, spooky looking. It's really beautiful just on its own, you know, without all the... Um, you know, using our mousse to sort of highlight. We've, we've done that, so you know how to do that because you've seen that. And if you want to do it on these, of course you can. But I'm going to keep this book completely black because I think it's going to look really nice. So let's just move those over there. And let's just see, we can put this book together. And it's really straightforward. Oh, look, I didn't think. Do you know what? I haven't even put glue on my pages either. Silly me, it's going to be another long tutorial. I really need to prep these a bit more so that you're not, um, you know, you're not having to sit through and watching me stick down loads of things. I must be more prepared. But I've been, do you know what I've been cutting out? Right, what we're using, let me just show you, we're using the original one, which is the middle size. There's three now, isn't there? We're using the original middle size one, simple spines. So the first one that came out, which gives you a centimetre, I think. It gives you a centimetre gap. Uh, does it give you a centimetre? I'm saying that now. I think it does. And the new one gives you two. Yes. So this is the middle one of the two. The original has three spines. The middle one. Original one we're using with the one centimetre gap. Right. Now, thinking on it, you probably could... Cut down your pages, instead of doing six pages, do four pages and go for the spine with the two centimetre gap. I mean, listen, we all know you can make your own if you, if you don't have these spines. Oh, this, oh, I've got to say, I went out and got some paper the other day. 
from the one that sounds like the Grange. Now I've always used this paper, it's the A3 cardstock and it's always been so good to use because obviously I'm not, I don't want to use, this is a 210 GSM, it's, it's a really light card but obviously I don't want to use 300 for this because it's not, it's not, um, you know, it just seems like such a waste. Do you see what I mean using a 300 GSM? But I went down to the to the one that sounds like the Grange and it's just, this is just really not like it used to be, this card. It seems to definitely be recycled because it's kind of got, I mean, it looks great for this project because it's got all these bits of white splotches in it and it's just, it's not, it's not a nice card. Sorry, uh, I don't know. It's not a make, it might just be in any old brand, but I guess this is maybe to do with the production and I don't know, it just really isn't a nice card to work with. You know, you can get some lovely 200s, but this is just, I don't know why. It's really been a bit of a struggle working with it. It feels quite, oh, what's the word? Gritty. <laughs> It's a, it's a really gritty card. Definitely sort of, sort of seems a bit recycled. Right, I'm just going to um, do the spine and then um, actually, no, I will do. I will do the spine. I've really um, let's just let's just fold these down a bit. Sorry, I'm just going to fold them down a bit so it fattens it out at the back. But I like, you know, it's really you should back it onto card. Let's put that in the middle and then we'll use glue for the rest. Uh, where are we? So we're just going to put one in the middle and use, should really use glue anyway because it does thicken your spine up even more. It gives it a lot more. Oh, and do you know what? I had a look on the internet. I wonder if it, I was, I was going to link... I found a tutorial that Paul had done, Paul Ford. You must go and, if you're not subscribed to him, you must go and subscribe to him because he does amazing sort of journals, you know, from scratch. Let's just put, put those out of the way. But he did actually do one where he had, um, you know, Elon going to the pages in the same manner. That I only saw this the other day because I thought, I'll go and have another look because I couldn't find any. And then, so it's away. Then afterwards, but he does his quite, his, his is really lovely actually. He does his differently. He, he puts them into, uh, without using one of these, without using a central spine, he kind of puts them, you must go and see it. Maybe I'll link it so you can go and have a look because it's a fantastic tutorial. I mean, he's brilliant and it really is a worthwhile watch. If you don't have spines and you're not looking to put a lot in between the pages because with Paul's one, it's really nice for journaling. It would be a beautiful book for journaling, um, but I would imagine there isn't room like you getting a centimetre in each page so you can fill it up and put all of these really heavy, do you see what I mean? Because they're bulky these are and you can, you've got the centimetre gap to do that. But the, the other one, but I, I have to say he's amazing. I, you know, I started following him a little while ago and um, he is, so if you're not on, his name's Paul Ford. You must go and check Paul Ford out if you haven't already, because he is really, he's an amazing crafter. Right, okay, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> right, remember, we're not cutting down. Look, you can see those specks, can't you, in the paper? It's a really rubbish paper. Look, can you see that? It's fine for what I'm doing, because it looks more authentic <laughs> with the spells and a bit more old, but... You know, for doing really professional books, you're not going to want to use this. But yes, um, so we are cutting on this line. So the, the line down here that's giving us an extra um, five mils. Let me turn this around that way. That would help. Oh, I swear, oh, I'm loving this trimmer. <laughs> I really am loving this trimmer. This trimmer is amazing. Best thing I've bought, I think. <laughs> and I always... I always say, oh, this is really great, but this trimmer is brilliant. So you see, we're not cutting along the perforated edge 
see that? We're cutting along this edge. Where are we? We're cutting along this edge to give us that five mil. So that's all our inside pages done. And for a six page book, you're going to need 14. 12 for the insides and two extras. Where did I put my excess paper now? Oh, there we are. And two for the inside pages. Right, so let's just do our, ooh, let's just do our front and back cover. There we go. Right, I think I'm actually gonna use scissors for this. I don't know why, I like the control. I've got a very, very steady hand, you see, and I love the control of, of, of using scissors just in case you know I don't want to go down I'm still what it is is I'm still new to the um, I'm still very very new to the paper trimmer so just for oh you can see me cutting it just because I've got a steady hand and I don't want to mess it up once I start getting into using that really lovely paper trimmer then I'll zip through and do it but I just want to make sure because sometimes when you're new with things you can you need to use a product for a little while and fine on the straight buttons I mean I've only used it twice two or three times actually but it is when you get a new product you've got to learn how to use it properly haven't you and my hand is very neat there we go. Right, front and back pages done. So it's just a question of sticking it all together now. So we're scoring. Let's get the scoreboard in. It's, it's quite straightforward, but obviously if you're new, then and remember what I'll do as well is I will again. I I, I will link Jodie's tutorial again. Where did we go? Right. I will link Jodie's tutorial again of putting together the um the book you know the first one we did the spell book because that's how i did the first one i used jody's tutorial which doesn't give us a five mil but for this purpose we want the five mil i'm loving this i need to score it i was just thinking i need to try and score it down this way don't i let's give it a little bit of a bend because it's clear as crystal there right you can actually see it is clear as crystal, but I just want to give it a little a bit more of a, 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 a defined line, just so that you can see it, really. Can you see that? So I've just defined that line a little bit. Can you see? So when we fold it, we got that extra. Oh, this paper. This, this paper's awful. Um, there we go. Can you see that defined? There you go. Can you see that? So we've got our extra five mils. So we're going to do that again on this side. I'm doing it again so that you can see it. I like to go through slowly as well because sometimes it's nice to have a nice slow tutorial, especially if you're a new crafter because you want it nice and slow, don't you? So there we go. We've got our line. And we're just going to bend and fold down on that line again it's the it's the five mil line and that is our front and our back cover done <laughs> yes yeah, so I, I will did I, I just say it I did didn't I I will link Jodie's tutorial um Where's my scroll grab? I'll link Jodie's tutorial again down the bottom. Um, and please go and follow that if you want to do the one with without the five mil edge. But for, for this purpose, we're using these twirling frame, we're using the twirling frame set, aren't we, from Tonic? So we need that extra five mils. Right, okay, so. We're going to go down this edge. We're, in fact, we're going to go down the whole thing with glue. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a quick stick. Quick, quick sticks. But we need to really make sure that is really glued down. Nice bit of glue. That's going to really 
make this really hard and rigid. We're going down on here. And there we go, we're sticking it, we're backing it. We're backing it onto a piece of paper. This is the Jody way, right? Because it's always good to have that extra. The spine needs to be really, um, you know, really hard because you're using the spine all the time. Right, we're just going down on one of the edges with glue because we're sticking one edge on top of the other to make the six pages, aren't we? Because we've got six pages in this book. And again, I'm going to put some more glue down here. Won't worry too much on that side because we've got plenty on the bottom one. But again, nice bit of glue here. Really nice bit of glue. And then we're going to carefully line that up. Let's just line that up really neatly. There we go. Let's just drop that down. There we go. And now we've got another reinforced spine. So I'm actually using a 2 210 throughout this whole book because, you know, I keep saying it, it this is not for selling. But I think, I always say it, I think sometimes using three because it's it's fine to use 300 gsm for your covers we always say this don't we with covers in the back not for this the spine is always a 200 okay the spine is oh did we did we decide that we were going to leave that in we did didn't we so i've just had a thought i don't know whether i've left enough excess on this side have i we'll try because I said we needed that five mil. Let's have a look. I didn't think about that. Silly, silly me. Oh, silly, silly me. Right, what I should have done is left more excess. I should have put that in the middle of there. And it's now too late to take that off. Right. So I'll go with it. I'll go, I will go with it. Right. But stick it in the middle of this card so you've got the flat so you've got a longer flap on this side same as you have on this side I, I didn't even think sorry I'm, I'm not really concentrating to be honest with you I've been manically die cutting and die cutting and you know we're just scoring down the side I just I will bring this up to the camera and show you yeah I've been manically die cutting because I wanted to get this one done before um before Halloween so, apologies. So just imagine that that is, where are we? That you've got the, the same amount of length on each side, okay? Because that's going to be your spine within your book, okay? And we're not going to cut down like we did before, because before I came in, didn't I? And I cut these corners off. We're not going to do that with this. But we are, let's just take off this excess at the bottom because we do need to level that off, right? And this excess up here, making sure it's, it is nice and straight because you want that. You really want that edge lined up so we're taking away the notch because there's a little notch. Now, all I do is I, and probably should have done this before, didn't think, I just go in, you will do this before you stick this down, I totally forgot, and I am just cutting the corners off, right? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting these corners completely off. Make sure you do this before, right, before you stick this down. Can you see? There we go. Can you just see that? corners off we don't want straight corners at the edges so just going to cut those off because if I don't it will drive me crazy I, I don't like having I don't like you know seeing the as you probably all don't you don't like seeing the spine at the top plus it doesn't it doesn't it sticks better when you cut these off it, it really does right so okay we're there but remember, again, I will tell you, I'm not worried about this because it's a spell book. But 
when you do this, leave a longer piece at this edge. Leave a longer piece, okay, to go into your spine. Right, okay, so here we go. So let's, I just want to have a look, because that should just do it. I should just be so lucky with that. I think I've been quite lucky. Now let's just take this down a little bit because we don't need that much because obviously we should have moved it over. Do you see what I mean? We should have moved, had that longer piece on that side. So when, you know what I mean. When I stuck it down, you should have gone into the middle of the paper. But I think I will just get away with this. Will I? Well, we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> So, what have you all been getting up to? Have you been doing Halloween makes? Or I know some of you don't like Halloween. I know some of you are like, oh. But, um, have you been making for Christmas? Oh, I tell you what I have purchased. Who has seen the chai tea caddy? Well, I went ahead and purchased that because I thought, oh, I've got to, I've got to see... I've got to see what that one's like because I thought that mechanism that they've done on it looks really good, doesn't it? I'll tell you what as well, I'm so gutted that I didn't get the Christmas star, you know, I was so gutted because I didn't realise that the Christmas star, you know, folds down and I would have loved to have seen the way that, I mean, I'm sure at some point, you never know, there's always opportunities to buy things, isn't there, afterwards, sometimes people sell them. If anybody is selling their star, if anybody's not using it, by the way, I'm looking for it, because I just would love to see how that mechanism works. It just looks like, you know, it really does look like a fantastic, you know, um, you know workmanship in, in it um i did I, I just thought when it came out and i thought oh well i've got loads of christmas decorations and i thought oh, i'll use those up but when i realized that it had a mechanism in it that pushed down and it was easy for folding i was so gutted i didn't buy it you know you snooze you lose i always say that right so we're just going in making sure that we are flush we are flush to that edge, right? And we are central as well. Let's just make sure we don't want an overhang, do we? This is why it's important to use um, a bit. This is why it's important to use your wet glue at the bottom here, right? So we just go down. Can I see that? We're going down and sticking that into the into the book do you see what i mean now with leaving this one a little bit longer now i'm i think i might just get away with it <laughs> i am so <laughs> cross. right so now we're taking our excess off this side probably better to use you know a craft knife maybe here to go down a bit a bit neater but this side's not so bad because Oh, we'll go that way up. This side, oh, no, we won't. Come on. This side's not so bad because it's going to be covered up, but I will make it a bit neater. Okay, so really make sure you come down and, and, and wait for your glue to dry, right? Do wait for your glue to dry. I am kind of rushing through this. You see, this is why I left it a little bit longer at the top. Do, do you see what I mean? Because when you... When you cut your um, your pages, your front and back pages, that's why I like to manually cut these. Do you see what I mean? Because you get a little excess. You get a little excess. And then when you stick it down, you can make sure it's completely straight. Sometimes I've cut the this part, you know, that this part here, where you're cutting along this bit, I've cut it sometimes a bit too short. And it really... It, you know, I'm quite finicky about those things. So I like to leave just a little bit on there and then I cut it off, trim it off afterwards. That's generally what I, I do. Um, so that's just a little tip for you. And then you're definitely getting your edges, your top and your bottoms completely straight. Right, so we're now going to go in on the back. 
Let's have a go. Now I'm going in completely with glue on this one because we've we've now got on my spine here we've got 630 GSM. But it, when you're doing yours with your 300, remember you're going to have 900 GSM. I'm not sure. Is the American one? I think the American is pounds, isn't it? Do you go in? I think your card weight goes in pounds, doesn't it? But I'm not sure what that would be. Um, right, so we're now going to go in on this side. Now, because we've got nice glue, you know, we've got glue, we can, we've got wiggle room, we can move it up, we can move it down. That's why we have it this way. I'm just coming in. I just want to see. Now I've got that. Do you see? It's really good to do it that way. Some people do, some people don't, but I love that little ridge there because it just neatens it, that you've just got a little bit there excess and it just makes sure that your top is really neat. That's that's why I cut manually by hand on those. I, I, I think that's really important because it is so easy to just cut it. And again, I'm so finicky. If, if something is like a millimetre out, I just... I get so frustrated, it really does. It drives me mad. Right, so then I just, do you see what I mean? I just go in and then I've got that little tiny bit at the top. There we go. And it's just, can you see? I mean, we're cutting that off anyway on that side. But do you see what I mean? It gives you a, a much neater finish at the top here. It really does. And that's my top tip. <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 so that is my top tip it, it does give you a much neater finish right now let's just come in at this side now really this is where we need our craft knife now to straighten that up if you haven't just use scissors and to be honest with you oh where have i put mine i'm, I'm going to have to use my scissors now do you know what those big massive scissors would be good here if you've got really big scissors, you've know, got sticky ones, um, they are better, then use your big scissors here, because you, you do, you want this nice and neat, right? I'm going to go over this again with my, I haven't got my mat here. I suppose I could have done it on here, didn't I? But I will go over this again with my craft knife you see i've not got a very nice edge there but i will go over it i wonder if i can go over it now yes i have got my knife i wonder if i can cut over here i'm not sure if we should be doing if this is supposed to happen are you allowed to i don't know if people just cut directly onto the glass but there we go that didn't hurt did it where are we come on little bits just getting those little tiny bits off, right? And it just neatens it up, okay? Right, there we go. There we go. Don't forget as well, we've got a spine to go on there as well. So I have to, I really do have to say this, honestly, this paper is useless to work with. It's really bad, it is awful. I'm not liking that at all. It's just actually chipped into the side of my my thing but I wouldn't worry because we're going to go over that anyway because I'm going to be using these do you remember I told you we were actually using the um spine covers so we're, we're going to be using these on them the actual proper spine covers that came with them so I'm going to cut that half down well I'll show you later anyway so let me show you now right okay so now we're going to go in now let's see if I might just get away with it See, this is where, will, will I get away with it? I've just got some little bits. Yes, I think I will. I think I will get away with it. Yes, see? So I didn't need that much on there, did I? Right, so now we're going to go down this edge with some glue. I, I, I think it's nice to go down with glue, but it's up to you. It depends. Sometimes you do get this chunky feel to it. You do get a chunky feel 
to the ridge, but you know, this is a spell book, so we're not going to worry too much about the harder the better, is what I mean. And when you're going to build it up, we're going to build this up so much. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking good. Okay, so now we're going to take our pages. That actually, that ridge is perfect. That's a perfect size. So you'd be fine with it. I wondered if I was going to get away with it, but because we've, we've now, you, before we weren't, before I'd cut it too short, hadn't I, the, the inside pages. But now, because we've cut our inside pages on the 5 mil, now it's going to be fine. It's going to cover it completely up, and this is this is where you get the neat finish. Oh, this paper is awful. <laughs> it's paper is so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, everyone. Oh, let's just move you down. Let's, honestly, it really is bad. It's, it's not the best paper at all. Come on, oh, do I need to chop that down a bit? We need to chop this down a bit. It's just a little bit too long at the edges. So this is what I mean. Don't chop too much because you can always take some off, but you can't put it back again, right? So I always overcompensate. This is, this is my overcompensating. Okay, so it's it's not it's this is me. It's my overcompensating. So let's try this again. Let's try this again. See, look at this paper. It's really awful, isn't it? This is the worst paper to work on, especially if you're doing a tutorial. That's for sure. That is for sure. Right. Let's do it that way. Put it up that way because I think once I stick this down, there's no coming back from this. <laughs> There is zero coming back from this. It's just where, I'll tell you what it is, I should have really checked this before, it's just where our edges are meeting the bottom. Come on, mister. I mean, this is gonna be nice and hard. <laughs> just having a look. Yeah, we're there a little bit of an overhang and I don't want that. I suppose I can just chop that down. Got a little bit and I don't know why it's not gone down because it's there's enough there. There's enough room there. Never mind, I'll cut that down. But you get the picture anyway. Right, let's move on. I'm being finicky again. I must stop doing this. Stop being finicky. <laughs> do it every single time now I'm wondering if we're gonna to have to go down a little bit on this one shouldn't be no, maybe a bit you see because it pops up so let's just take a little bit off of this one as well I think it's just the front you just need that extra or oh, two mil off just need that extra two mil off to just be able to get that on Let's just have a look at that now. We want it sitting flush, don't we? we? Want it sitting nice and flush. That should be fine. <sighs> Why are you not sticking? I'll tell you what, what a tutorial this has been. <laughs> this one definitely hasn't flowed, has it? This tutorial has not flowed. It's because of this rubbish paper. I don't normally paint things on paper, but this is really rubbish paper. Oh dear, you buy cheap, buy twice. That's what it is. And I bought cheap, and um, you buy twice. So there you go. Lesson learnt. I think now I'm going to go and invest in some really decent black paper um, online. That's the only way, isn't it? <laughs> Right, let's try this. I'm just going to put a little bit down that edge. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's try this one. It's meeting the top better now. That's it. Now, <laughs> I'm just laughing because this is such a funny story. <laughs> I think I 
I've just gone ahead, rushed ahead and done this so quick. <laughs> oh dear, I've used rubbish paper. <laughs> oh well, we like to have a giggle, don't we? And do you know what? I can't wait to start interacting with everybody. I still haven't done a live in the group, which I should do. I, you know, I really, really should do, but I haven't done a live. You know, I opened up the group to do a live in, but I just, I didn't want to do anything, you know, I wasn't supposed to, but I just, I like, I prefer interacting with people because it's much nicer when you've got someone to talk to while you're crafting, right? I know it's not talking, talking, but do, do, do you know what I mean? It's that interaction online that I, that I, 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 do, I do miss. I do miss. Right, what's the time? Let's just move that. What were we? Oh, I think we've gone over, so this is, must have gone on for about half an hour, this tutorial. Right, remember what I said, I just have a little bit extra to come off because I cut my ends a little bit shorter on purpose. And I'm not just saying that, I haven't made a mistake, I always do that normally, just so I get a much need to finish. Right, so, there we go. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of drawing, but do you see what I mean? You get a much, you do, Jodie's right. Having that extra bit here, I mean, you're going to do yours on much nicer paper. Look at that finish, you know, look at the, it's much neater, isn't it, inside. Sorry, mine's just taking a while to stick down, but it is much neater inside, isn't it? It, it does, it looks much better when you elongate, that's the word. When you elongate the spine with the extra um, paper, it does look better. Before, we just sometimes just pop the spines in, don't we? Fold it over, but this is a little bit more work, but it's definitely worth it. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off and I'm going to restart this again. Um, and I'm going to now put all my pages in using the you know just going to um, take these up come back and just show you how we put these in and then we're going to move on to just doing this frame thank you for watching by the way <laughs> Bye. oh my gosh my lovelies i can't believe this it's saying i've just done a whole tutorial of putting this together and it's just come up as camera failed and it didn't record i am absolutely gutted so I'm going to have to do this all again for you. What a shame. What an absolute shame. That is really frustration, frustrating. Oh dear. Okay, right. Um, I'll carry on with this anyway. Now, what we've done on all of these, what, what that's so frustrating. I'm just looking to see, I don't know why it failed. I have no idea, but it didn't save any of this tutorial that I've just done here. So I'll have to come back and do it again. But basically what I've done is I've cut down the decorative and I cut down um, another one to back it, just to back it. And all we've done is we've put foam tape on there just around the edge so that we can slide our photo. It's it, I haven't double done it because we don't want too much height on this. But just so, once I get a, a tab at the top, just so that we could slide our photo in into each one. So oh, I think I'm going to have to come back and do it again. I'm so frustrated. I can't believe what it felt. I'm wondering if it's because I've got too much... It's clogged up with stuff. But what we did was we cut down. All I did was I cut down strips. Okay. I'll do this quick and just hope that this is gone. I can't believe that. I put all the papers into the book. Um, that's so, so frustrating. That has never happened to me before where a camera has just failed in the middle of, well, it didn't, it obviously failed and deleted the whole tutorial, so I'm so frustrated. <laughs> right, so with this one, it's just the buckle that's going to go on the front. That, that's the most frustrating thing, wowzers. I think it could be, there's a possibility it could be my, the storage on my phone as well so you know right I'm just sort of measuring that in and then we're just putting it roughly in the middle 
it's not going to make a difference on the other ones really but it certainly will make a difference on this this one okay now we're not going to put that other bit on yet okay where are we i hope this is not going to do the same thing i'm really worried now but that's what we've done throughout all of them so they've all got a photo um, mat inside so now we're going to go ahead let's just take this out for a second now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a magnet now this is where this may work it may not work I don't know we will try this is the but is it going to work is it not now we need to put a magnet in here okay oh, let's move that up so you can see we need to put a magnet don't we in here and in here now i think because of the, because of the thickness of it i think we're going to go for two magnets okay we are going to go for two magnets oh. So I'm complicating my life even more. Now we do have to make sure that these aren't going to cross over each other. Okay. Can you see? Let's move that up. We do We do have to make sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some red, red tape on this one. There we go. Come in with some red tape on this one. And let's, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to have to do an inside. I didn't think about that as well. So we're going to have to cover it up on the inside. Like I said, I didn't know whether this would work. This would definitely work if you didn't do the frames on the outer edge. But now we've done these, I think what I'll have to do is disguise them somehow. Ooh. Okay, so I'm actually going to pop that one there onto that one. And I'm going to do it on that way. And again, should have really gone a little bit more outer. So I can move that. I can just go here because outer would be better actually. But we don't want to get too near, do we? To the, let's just bring that over. It's not going to matter. It's honestly not going to matter too much. I'm just, like I said in earlier, I said this is, this is a completely unprepared project. This is just me. I've come on off the cuff. I can't believe that didn't save. I'm so sorry. If anybody wants me to do it again, I most certainly will. I most certainly will for you. I'm so, so sorry that did not save. I'm absolutely gutted. I'll have to have a look. Maybe it has somewhere else, but I don't think it has. So... If you do want me to do it again, write in the comments. If not, then that's fine. Right, so we're just going to come in and make sure that we're totally lined up on here, okay? Because that's really important to be totally lined up on here. You see, centralising it. And then, oh, come on. And then boom, right? So this part of it was planned because I had this bit to put on the back. But now I'm thinking I'm going to have to cover this up. But we still have to be able to get our photo in. But I couldn't lift these. I couldn't put any more than one round it. Otherwise it would have lifted it too much. But I will put, do you know what I thought? I could put a family tree inside these frames I'm, I'm not going to do it this way for my uh, spell book let's just put this down let's just pop this down first so i'm going to have to come back and think about how i'm going to cover the middle bit if you if you didn't do frames on here right like i've done then all you'd have to do is just stick your thing over it right like we normally do so you cut your you cut your layer part out and then boom all you're doing is sticking aren't you over the you're sticking over the top of it but on this one let's just come in and just pop that down on on this one we're trying to get a photo in there so i can't put too much on there so i i will think about it don't worry i will think about it and i'll show you what i'm going to do with it because i hadn't 
thought about the internal parts because it's going to be now the same for every single one with the photo. See what I mean? So all we're doing now is we're going in with glue around the edge to just finish that off. You can, you're going to get the picture of how this is going to work. But I just wanted to show you that it's possible to do it with all these other dyes as well that you have. You know, your tonic stash, you can do it. It's a lot more work. Yes, it is a lot more work. I mean, possibly not, you know, there's not that much difference. I think that is stuck down, I think that's me. So it does work, but you definitely need the two. So what I'm gonna to say to you in this instance, I'm going to come back and think about what I'm gonna put there, okay? Because I hadn't banked for that. That's where your measuring is gonna come in, right? So now we're going to do the same on this one, right? So we're gonna come in, I'm gonna speed along now because you're gonna get the picture and I am gonna use two for these because they're very thick, it's a very um, big piece of card. You know, it's, it's a big piece of card, it's chunky. So you're gonna need two sets of magnets on these. Um, where are we? Where are we? Right, I will, I will show you the finished result anyway. I, I will show you what I've done. So I, I put a nice bit of double-sided tape on these again. Oh, oh, this one's done, isn't it? <laughs> where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Right, so we want to pop, oh, that would help, wouldn't it? We want to pop one here, just keeping away from the edge. Try and keep it a little bit more in the middle. One there, okay. There we go. Keep it away from that edge because the thicker, the thicker, the hot, the, the more it won't stick. You want one on top of the other. And we'll do one just here, right? Perfect, okay. Again, with the tape over the top, where are we? And we'll stick that down again. That's going to go nicely over the top. These do stick to the magnets. And then I'm trying to fly through this because I'm worried that it's not going to. I'm really panicking now because I don't want to do all of this. I might stop it in a minute and just. So there we go. Right, he's back. Right, okay. Centralise it again. Oh, but not that way. This way, because that's where we wanted our, our card. So it's nice and centralised. Okay. This is where your measuring out your lengths will probably be advisable. I would advise that here. Right, so again. Oh, where are we? Come on. Oh, you know, oh, it's that way, isn't it? That's why. There we go. Um, yes, your lengths. Measuring them out would be much better, okay? Measuring your lengths out. So again, we're going in. I'm sorry this is such a disorganised tutorial and I'm really flustered now and a bit upset, if I'm being honest, because it's just the whole tutorial. I suppose I could have put some there. It's gone. That's the most upsetting thing, isn't it? So it's kind of thrown me, but I'll try and get through this. I am really flattered, I'm not going to lie, because it was. It, I just really wanted you to see it. I'm sure most of you all know anyway. It's just a shame because the beginners, you know, might not, you know, and if they, if they manage, if you manage to get hold of this set, it's just such a shame, isn't it, not to be able to use it or, you know, use it if you have it. Right, okay. So that one will go on there. We're now coming into this one, which is our last one for the top, right? And we're going to, I'm just trying to think, because we have to have, I'm just thinking, we have to have one in here, don't we? So actually, I'm going to have to cut another one, okay, to go on top of this, because we need, we now need another one to go under here, don't we? Underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Oh, have I got one? I can do it. I can do it. I have got one here. So now we can put another one onto here. So let's just do that quickly. 
There we go. I just forgot to do that one. This is how we're putting our, our things on. I forgot to do that one. Next time I will do a better one. I'm going to do another one anyway because I'm doing a, a square book eventually. Doing a square book. So let me um, just do this one. And then you'll see we can move on. I will stop it and then we'll, we'll move on. Move on. Uh, so we're roughly in here. Just make sure that that was right. Okay, that's better. Okay, we're going to need another one there. But that's how we're going to close. That's how we're closing our book. So we need a um, magnet. <laughs> Well, I'm going to close this off and then I'm going to come back and show you how to bend it all round as well. And let's just see if we can actually fit it in. I am again going to use two. So it's going to, this is going to use quite a few of your tabs, quite a few tabs, quite a few of your um, magnets. Or you could, oh, where did that go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wondered where that went. Um, or you could use a bigger one. You could actually probably use a wider one here because it's thicker and it's bigger. On the other ones, it's smaller, isn't it? So you don't really need it as much um, on the smaller ones. But uh, where are we? Let's do one here and one here. And then we've got two. Uh, this isn't... In my actual book, I'm going to be doing something. I'm only going to be doing singular frames, so this won't matter too much. But obviously, in this book, in in this page, it's got um you know the four sets. Right, I'm going to rush through this and just get this part done and stop this tutorial so that it's so that it doesn't you know stop halfway through. Right. We're nearly there. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really rushing this. Okay, so we're just coming on here. You can see lining this completely straight with and flush with the original at the bottom. Okay, stick down, pull off, and then we've got two. I haven't got the other one, so I'm going to come back. I'm just going to finish this one off and come back because I'm so worried that this is going to stop. And then we'll finish the bits in the middle and then I'll show you how we're, how, we're going, how it's gonna look in the book. And I wanted to check as well, actually, that it does fit in the book and that it's not going to be too bulky at the sides because we've only got five mils, haven't we, throughout the actual book? Do you see what I mean? So I was thinking maybe we may have had to have given ourselves a bit more than five mils but we'll see, it may work. I will keep my fingers crossed and wait with bated breath. Right, so I'm gonna come back and do the insides. Sorry, I've got glue everywhere. But that is basically how, I'm so sorry it didn't say. I, I maybe come back and if you want me to do another one, if it's, then just put a comment and say, can you please do it again and I'll do it. If not, then I'll leave it as it is and I'll take it that you know but I'm going to come back and just do these bits and then we'll put it all together as a page and let's see if it fits in okay I'll be back thank you for watching